I'm here filming my third YouTube video. Today we're going to be practicing some handstand drills as requested. And so we're going to be building quite a bit of heat. I'm going to try and do a little flow. It's going to be a quick, short video. These are things that you can just practice or um, incorporate into your own practice at home. You can do this video, you can pause, repeat the drills as many times as you want, or you can, like I said, incorporate them throughout your practice at home. So I'm going to be using um, these uh, gliding discs today, but they're not actually necessary. I often just use a pair of socks, or you can use a tea towel at home, or just wear socks when you're doing these gliding exercises. I'm also going to use two blocks. Again, you can use blocks, or sorry, books instead of blocks. Um, so let's get started. I'd like to begin in a seated position. You can either sit on your shins or on a block cross-legged, whichever is best for you. Let's get started. So um, obviously with handstands, um, we are going to be upside down. So shifting the weight into our hands, although we are lifting up, we want to be grounding. Now usually we ground through our feet, but today we're going to be grounding and um, through our hands. So I want to begin by just bringing some focus to our breath and bringing that sense of being grounded. Okay, so it's a very difficult thing being upside down and balancing on your hands. Something that I've been trying to do for years. I have recently, in the last few weeks, really upped my game with my handstands simply because I am really tuning in to what I need to do in order to um, actually transition into a handstand. So open hamstrings, um, having your shoulders stacked over your wrists, open forearms and wrists, these are all things that we need in order to come up into a handstand. Wanting it isn't enough, so hopefully today we'll work on a few things that will help you um, transition a little bit easier and with a little bit more control because that's what we want in our handstands, not flinging our bodies into it. So, beginning by grounding. We're going to get seated, however is most comfortable, hands to your thighs, close your eyes. So start by tuning into the space on your mat. Feel the entire body from your feet, through your legs, pelvic floor, torso, arms, hands, shoulders, muscles of the face. Feeling present in your body and accepting your body and your practice for how it is today, exactly how it is. Don't wish for it to be different, to be more flexible, more strong. Just accept it for how it is. Beginning to deepen your breath, in and out through the nose. We're going to begin by focusing our awareness, our attention, with our breath. So often we want these things so much that we're really not present. We're often thinking about the end goal without focusing on the steps we need to take in order to get there. So by simply being present is going to help you on your journey to your hands done. So we're going to take some breaths together. I'd like you to inhale deeply and exhale deeply, just once through the nose. Maybe letting it go through the mouth and then we'll begin together. Inhale for one, two, three, four, hold it at the top for three, two, one, and then exhale for four, three, two, one, hold it at the bottom, three, two, one, inhale for one, two, three, four, hold it at the top, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one, hold it at the bottom, three, two, one, and inhale for four, three, two, one. All in and out through the nose. Hold it at the top. Feel that retention of energy. And exhale for four, three, two, one. One more round. Hold it at the bottom for three, two, one. And inhale for three, two, one. Hold it at the top. And release for four, three, two, one. One, well done. So just by that little exercise with the breath, 
you might feel a little bit more connected to your body. Okay, so from here we're going to open our eyes, we're going to come down onto our back. Okay, so coming all the way down, I'd like you to bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Okay, and just finding some comfort here. Okay, so I'm going to get you to bring your uh, knees in towards your chest. Bring your knees as wide as your armpits. Bring your hands onto the front of your knees and just hugging them down slightly. As you hug them down, reach your tailbone toward the front of your mat. So just feeling a nice stretch in your hips and then bring some fluid motion into this. So you're going to begin to circle your hips out and in toward each other. Okay, continue. Just opening the hips a little bit and then reverse the direction out and in towards your body, feeling into any tension in the lower back, in the hip area, really nice, okay, bring the knees together and then extend your legs all the way up toward the ceiling, okay, so from here you're going to feel your middle back press down into the mat and floint your toes, so what I mean by that, it's almost like Barbie feet. You spread your toes wide and you reach up through the balls of your feet like you're standing in high heels. Okay, from here I'd like you to reach your arms all the way up toward the ceiling as if you were holding a block between your hands. So there's energy through your fingers. And from here, soften your shoulders, soften the back of the head, relax your jaw, and we're going to lower the left leg all the way down to hover above the mat. Now this is too much for anyone. You can either bend the top knee or bring your hands underneath the lower back for some support. We're going to be holding it here. Okay, so continue. Energy through the toes, you should feel this in your lower belly. Draw the navel down toward the spine and hold it here. You might curl the lower back slightly away from your mat so that you're really activating through the belly and you're not feeling this at all in the lower back. Hold it here. I always forget that in these YouTube videos I have to actually do the entire thing. Usually in my classes I take it easy and I cheat and I take little breaks while I explain. But here this is a lot more difficult having to actually do it and talk at the same time. So keep doing the energy through the toes. Keep um, imagining you're pressing into the block for 10, 9. Tuck the chin toward the chest as if you're holding apple underneath your chin. 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two. Left leg comes up to meet the right, and we're going to come straight into the opposite side. Okay? Take a nice deep inhale, flowing through the toes, and lower the right leg to hover. So again, you want energy through the tips of your toes, through your, the balls of your feet. Thighs are active. Lower back curling away from the mat. Belly hugging down towards your spine. Try to soften your shoulders as much as you can. This side would be a lot harder because we've already tired out the abdominal wall, the core. So breathe deeply. Do not hold the breath. It will make it a lot more difficult. Hold. If you need to exhale through the mat to soften the jaw, do. For 10, 9, engage the legs. Point the toes. 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, almost there. And release, bring your knees in towards your chest. Well done, everyone, okay. So bring the knees together, just make circles with the knees together in one direction. So this should feel really nice for the lower back. And reverse the direction of the circle. Okay, oh, my belly is sore after that. Okay, hands underneath the thigh. Rocking up and then rocking back. So this should feel really nice for the spine. Taking a few rocks, as many as you like, and then we'll meet up and um, crossing at our ankles and finding our way into tabletop. Okay, so from our tabletop, we'll just move through some cat-cow positions. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze forward, compressing the spine. Exhale, flex through the spine as you round and hug the belly in toward the back. So that should feel really nice. Again, inhale, feel free to move at your own pace. With your own breath, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, round, press the mat away. 
One more time, inhale. Ah, exhale. Okay, we're going to come back to a neutral spine. We're going to warm up the wrist a little bit. So I'd like you to bring your fingers to point you toward the outer edge of your mat and you're going to start to make circles around your wrists. Really nice. Reverse the direction of the circle. Again, you can do these um, wrist mobility exercises as many times as you want. I tend to do them anytime I'm at home. I sit on the floor uh, while I'm watching the TV. Uh, we're going to bring our fingers to point back toward our knees. So inhale here, exhale. Shift your hips back, it's okay if the wrists peel away from the mat. Come forward again, inhale, exhale, bring it back. Again, inhale, come forward, exhale, bring it back, hold, reach your wrists forward, reach your forearms forward for five, four, three, two, one, really nice, it all the way back, shake it out. Okay, so from here we're going to come into another core exercise. Okay, I'm just going to tie up my hair. I don't know why I always do this during my YouTube videos and not before. Um, okay, so come into tabletop. Hands stacked directly underneath your shoulders. Pull your belly in so this is a slight rounding through your back. And you're going to reach your right leg all the way back. So I would like the leg to be parallel with the mat. The eye or the crease of your elbow is rotating forward and you're reaching back through the right foot. Imagine you are pressing it into a wall behind you. Now, if you're confident here, you are internally rotating that right thigh, you're going to maybe stretch your left fingertips forward. Do not collapse into that right elbow, so press the mat away, hug the belly in and think of length. Right heel back, left fingertips forward, hold it here. Okay, so keep hugging the belly in toward the back. Keep thinking of length and your foundation. So remember earlier we were speaking of grounding. So ground down through the hands, through the left and bust and chin. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, we're going to round. Squeeze your knee and your elbow in towards your torso. Inhale, think of length, starting position. Exhale, round and squeeze. Inhale to lengthen. You can either flex or point that right toe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Try to keep nice and steady. Exhale with control. Inhale, lengthen. You're going to keep the right leg lifted and release the left hand. Point the right toe. You're going to bring that right leg to the left. Inhale, find a side body stretch. Exhale, bring the right leg all the way around. Circle it all the way around. You're going to try with the straight leg to tap the tricep and then bring it all the way back. Now that's option one. Inhale, bring the leg to the left. Exhale, option two, bend the knee and bring the knee to the tricep. Inhale, bring it back. Keep moving, feeling this in your obliques. Exhale, circle it out. Whenever you need, you can bend. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, circle it out with control and slow like you're moving to honey. Twice more. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, circle it out. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, circle it. Really nice. Bring it back and release. Okay, so you might need to take a little break. You can Again, do those same wrist things. You can uh, walk out the hands, bringing weight into uh, the hands as you lean it forward, just walking it out. Really nice. Slow down the breath. Maybe you even bring the tops of your hands to the mat. I like to do that as well. Rotating your elbows forward and back. Okay, and then ready, so come to the opposite side. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Now, extending the left leg back, remember, we are bringing weight into the left hand and into the right shin in a moment. Internally rotate the left thigh, hug the belly in, broaden across your upper back, so space between your shoulders. Now stretch your right fingertips forward and hold it here. Now we're not opening that left hip, okay? So the left leg is not lifting up any higher than um, your left hip. 
Followed by the end stretch. Inhale deeply, and as you exhale, we're going to round and squeeze it into center. Inhale to extend. Exhale, round and squeeze for two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round, squeeze for three. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round, squeeze for four. Twice more. Inhale, press the mat away through your foundation. Exhale, squeeze it into center. Last time. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend, and release the right hand. Keep the left leg lifted. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring that left leg, point the toe, bring it to the right. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, circle it all the way around and tap the thigh to the left tricep, either with the leg extended straight or with the leg bent. Feel it in your obliques. Remember, nice and slow movements. Again, squeeze it all the way around slowly. You should feel the body shaking with all this effort. Again, squeeze it around. Last time, inhale back. And circle it all the way around. Tap the knee or the thigh to the tricep. And then bring it back. Release. Okay, so again, just walk out your wrists. So bringing the fingers to point toward the sides of your mat, toward the knees. You can do it again by doing what we did in the beginning, by sending your bum back towards your heels, stretch it out. Okay, really nice, shake it out. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to come into a down dog and we're going to move from there. So I'd like you to tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, just take some time to pedal out the knees. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of class, that one of the things we need for handstands or to transition into handstands with control is open hamstrings, okay? So we're going to try and open them throughout these drills a little bit. So from here, I'd like you to walk your feet one in front of the other to the front of your mat, nice and slow. Okay, so I'd like you to step your feet to about hip width distance. Now you can bend your knees as much as you need. You can also measure hip width approximately two fists between your hands. Wrap your arms behind your thighs, reach for opposite elbow. Now I have a hamstring injury, so I won't be able to straighten up through my legs. If you feel like you can straighten up through your legs, please do, but I'd like you to keep your thigh to your belly. Allow your shoulders to soften away from the ears, allow the head to be heavy. Lift your sit bones toward the ceiling and folding from your hip creases, not from your waist. Pull your lower belly in as you lift a little higher through the hips. Really nice, breathing here. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna fix my top. Um, we're going to come into our, our next um, handstand row. So there's a few options here. You can use blocks. You don't have to use the blocks if you don't want. Again, your feet are hip width distance, okay? So you either bring your hands to the blocks, you're going to bring them underneath your shoulders, or you can bring them to the mat, okay? So what we're going to do is bring our feet hip width distance. You're going to inhale, look forward. Exhale, you're going to come to the tips of your toes, shift the shoulders over your wrists, and look back between your thighs. Inhale, drop your heels, look forward, flat back. Exhale, press the mat away, shift the shoulders past or over the wrists as you lift your heels and look back. Keep going, inhale, look forward. Exhale, press the mat away, round through the upper back as you lift your hips. Keep going, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, squeeze through your pelvic floor as you lift your heels, look back. Imagine your hips over your shoulders, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press into the mat, round. Inhale, lengthen, keep going. Exhale, press, lift the heels, lift your hips. Look back, hold for three, two, one. Release, bring opposite hand to opposite elbow and sway the torso from side to side. Really nice. Okay, so from here, we're going to come in 
into our next drill. We're going to be coming into a down dog with our feet to a block. Okay, so I'd like you to set up your block at the back of your mat. And we're going to come into toe taps to our wrists from our downward dog. This is a really challenging um, core exercise. Like we just did, open hamstrings are going to help you in this pose. If you don't have it, then don't worry. You just bend at your knees whenever you need. I need to bend at my knees still. I'm still not there with my flexibility, my hamstrings, especially with this little injury I have. So just be aware of your own body and tune into your own uh, capabilities. So, okay, I ended up having to go put a t-shirt on because this is not working with my sports bra. So I'm going to start again with the demonstration. So again, back into down dog to the block, okay? So from here, my toes are over the edge of the block just so that I have a better grip. Hands are shoulder width. I'm going to inhale, float the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, keep my shoulders square as possible as I bring the right toe to the right wrist. Inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, look forward, tap the toe to the wrist. Like I said, you can bend the knee. Inhale, tap it up or lift it up. Exhale, you can also bring the knee to the tricep instead. Inhale, lift it up a, little, a lot harder to keep the leg straight and tap. Continue one last time. Inhale, lift. Exhale to tap. And release, down dog. Okay, opposite side. You're going to bring the right foot to the block. Float the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring the left toe to the left wrist if you can. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, you might need to bend the knee like me. Lift it up, inhale. Exhale, tap the toe to the wrist. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to tap. Last time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to tap. Step it back to the block. Step your feet off the block, drop your knees. Take a break, okay. So bring your thumbs to the center of your palms, drop your fingers over your thumbs, and make circles with the wrists. Slow everything down, slow the breath down. Really nice, well done everyone. So we're going to come into our last um, handstand drill, okay? So you're going to remove the blocks. You're going to find your tea towel. You might even have some gliders at home or um, a pair of socks, okay? So if you have quite sensitive wrists, you can always use your mat for underneath your wrists, okay? I'm just going to move this mat back and I'm going to come onto the floor, okay? So I'm going to set up my um, gliders about hip width distance, and I'm going to step back onto them into my plank position, okay? So bringing the feet onto the gliders, your shoulders are stacked just over your knuckles, okay? So they're a little bit past your wrist. You want to drop your hips slightly and draw your pubic bone in towards your navel. So we're going to keep the shoulders over the wrist, and you're going to bring the right knee, slide it in to the right tricep, and then bring it back. Inhale, exhale, left knee, left tricep, bring it back, and continue. Really nice. We're going to keep going for 20, alternating, but trying to keep your hips square to the mat, your shoulders over your knuckles. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, straight away we're going to, and straight away we're going to pipe. So inhale, exhale, lift your hips, draw your toes in, chin to chest, plank, shoulders stay over your knuckles. Inhale, exhale, lift your hips, shoulders over wrists and lift, three more times, inhale, exhale, lift the hips, let the toes in, look back, release, plank, twice more, inhale, exhale, lift, and plank, last time, inhale, exhale, lift, and plank, 
from here, we're going to drop our knees. If you need to take a child's pose, please do. Maybe pause. You're going to bring your shoulders over your wrists. You're going to bring the gliders or the tea towels or whatever it is you have underneath your hands now. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is tuck your toes, hover your knees just above the mat, keep that uh, pubic bone drawing in towards your navel. Inhale, exhale, slide the right hand out and then circle it back in. Inhale, exhale, slide the left hand out and exhale, circle it back in. Inhale, exhale, slide it out, circle it in. Inhale, exhale, slide it out, circle it in. Keep going. You want that belly hugging in. The arms are fully straight. Your knees are just hovering above the mat and you are breathing into it. Okay, if you need to drop your knees as you do this, that is always an option. Try to keep your hips as steady as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and release. Finishing on the left side, sit your bum back. So, <coughs> excuse me, slide your hands out in front. Deep breath into your belly. <sighs> Exhale, let it all go. Okay, so I'm hoping that those handstand drills, sorry again, fixing, and those handstand drills are going to help you in your journey towards your handstand. And handstand is obviously something that everyone wants to be able to do. It's aesthetically really cool um, but in the past few weeks I've learned it's a lot about connecting with your body and getting that connection getting that control and that strength is a really empowering feeling so the journey to handstand is just as important as the handstand itself and um, we learn a lot about ourselves our strengths our weaknesses so do take your time and enjoy the journey to your handstand enjoy these drills and because it's so popular, I will do more of these videos um, if you would like. So please do request whatever you are looking for in your yoga practice at the moment. And hopefully see you again soon. I'm going to be posting another um, video next Friday every week. So hopefully see you there. Subscribe, maybe like it and share it. And on Instagram, I'm my Molly Pocket or Sweaty Soul Studio. Hashtag find your sweaty soul. Okay, thank you so much and namaste.